joy in the house of the Lord. She is the bride of the day. Wishers, neighbors, fellow worker mates, you're welcome on this wedding of Innocent and Karen. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we have senior ministers in our nation around here. Uh, Bishop Kaseja, I think it's Bishop, Bishop Kaseja, and then we have uh, Apostle Alex Mitala and Apostle uh, Catherine Mitala with us and Amen. other ministers. So without any further ado, let us all come uh, the word of the Lord through Apostle Alex Mitala. Praise God. Amen. Hey, praise God. Yes, I see you. Yes, I see you. Yes, I see you. Yes, I see you. This day is a glorious day before us. Vincent, ne Rebecca, I want first of all to congratulate Vincent, my brother, and Rebecca, the wife. Vale. Okay. That lady, uh, Karen, beautiful. And also for the parents of Innocent. Wherever you are, you can wave to us. And thank you so much for your son. Handsome Innocent. The, the handsome Innocent, the groom of the day. Thank you for that good name that you named him. Innocent. Because the man is innocent. For sure, tell you now, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the church, Reverend Nyanzi, the team. Mr. Innocent. Innocent. From Chara, we go to T. That lady you're taking in marriage? We love her so much. You are taking someone who been loving so much. And she will tell you that she has been a beloved of the parents. Therefore, as you go with someone who is beloved of many, you must also be very careful. But as by your name, you are innocent. You are surely innocent. I know it will handle her well. Amen. Amen. Um, Mze, Netata Wodi, Tuliba, Uganda. Apostle and the Bishop Kasaja, they are brother, their brothers. Agamanya Kasaja, Nemitala, Tuliba, Tabula, Tabula. Amen. You don't be confused of those names. Manika, the way was organized. I think the quarter got it. You are just wondering, Kasaja, and then uh, Mitala. And I hear Mr. Innocent, you go here. But Innocent, hear this. Many years have passed by. But 
We went together with my brother and we went to the mother to see the family of the mother of the daughter you're taking now. When you came to our home, you came with a big group. I don't know whether you were fearful that we will not surrender or give away our daughter. You came with a big group. But for us, we were two of us. And we came to, we went to the family of the wife of Kaseja and we brought that lady. Though we went two of us, uh, the wife was brought in the home. And for that, eight years has been married to the father. That seven years. And after one year, also uh, uh, Bishop uh, Apostle Mitala saw someone. And it was in the church. As you have seen uh, a child of, uh, of God in the church. And we saw those who are born again. As you have seen uh, Karen who is born again. Therefore I also had a wife. And she's there, Madam Catherine. 36 years down the road in marriage. Therefore, at least you have known that history of our marriage. Therefore, the words that I'm, read, I'm going to read to you, we are getting these words from uh, uh, the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 19. You have heard these words many times. I've given you the history of our marriage that you may understand. Uh, the daughter that you're going with to be your wife, uh, she has a grandmom, she's just there. Oh, yeah. That lady there. She stays in America, but she's the grandma of uh, uh, Karen. Therefore, as when you take a lady who has grandmoms who are citizens of America, you see it's really wonderful. It's a precious thing that you're taking. I can leave that one alone. I think you see how uh, great we are. Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. And verse 3. The Pharisees came to Jesus and asked him, test, testing him, and they saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? Matthias, la kumina mwenda, okuva kuri njiri roku sato. Our friends are never here. It is yesu. The man came and gave a command. Oh, mutoa inzo kama mukaziwe. O kumela gabuli chigambo. Now the big problem we are facing today in the whole world, Mr. Innocent, including the church, is the problem of divorce. People go for weddings like this one. They take their vows like normally people do. And after a short time, they divorce. Divorce has been there for many, 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 many years. Even the days of Jesus himself. The Pharisees, these were religious people. They came to Jesus testing him. Saying, Sir, Master, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? For just any reason. They were testing him. Which means. They knew the truth. That the man was not supposed to divorce his wife. For any reason. But they came testing him. And Jesus knew that they were testing him. In verse 4, this is how he answered them. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? 
Orunjiro rokuna. Natamu na abaga manti temu soma. Nti oyo e abako rovere vere. Ngabako la omusaja na omukazi. And they said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and a mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has, put, has joined together, let no man separate. They said unto him, Why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? And then he said to them their question. First of all, he said, He who made them from the beginning made them female and male. He was giving the true picture of marriage. But marriage is always, shall always be between male and female. And he, he was telling them that it has been like that from the beginning. From the beginning, it was like that. What does it mean? What does that mean, beginning? Beginning of what? He was referring to the beginning of Adam and Eve. There was no person, there was nobody living on planet Earth by then. Adam was the first man. Adam and when God saw it fit to get him somebody called a wife, he brought Eve, one woman, one woman. And he said, Adam, you are the first He brought Eve, one woman, one woman. And she was a female. Creature. So Jesus was referring to the beginning. This wedding today is reminding us about the beginning of doing things. These days, people do things in the modern way and a very funny way. In some churches, we hear that a man, a male, can match in with a male, like these two guys were marching in here. A male can march in the church with another male and they're coming in the church for a wedding. It is happening even in Uganda. Men are fighting to marry their fellow men. They are fighting everybody, they are fighting the government, they are fighting all the church, they are fighting all the people who love God. They, are, they think they are fighting for their freedom. Human rights. People should be left alone. And so many governments have left them alone. This is what they say. They are respecting those people's freedom. But the freedom which destroys nations is bad freedom. This is the kind of freedom that destroyed the days, the people of, uh, of Lot in those days. Lot. And for those of you who have come to this wedding, of Mr. Eno, uh, uh, Innocent, I think you can join me to say no to this kind of silly, fully freedom. Why? Why? Because it was not so from the beginning. In the beginning, 
God created both male and female. Kulubadia bebe katonda tonda etikazi nekisa jobo mukazi no musajja. And again Jesus said. Na tamu kama face to nagamba. It wasn't so from the beginning. Techali bwechito okuva ku ntandi ko bakulubadia bebe. What was this day? Kino chali chi. These guys the Pharisees had changed the, the question. Now they came with another question. They said, Sir, if divorce is wrong, as you are telling us, why did Moses, the great Moses, the man of God, Moses, why did he allow to give a certificate of divorce to the, to the woman? Why did he allow to give a certificate of divorce and Jesus answered like this. It was for the hardness of your heart that Moses did that. Mr. Innocent. There are so many things being done today. Even in the church. And because they are being done many times, many church people have accepted them. They think it's okay. Today when you talk about divorce, many people will say it's okay. If they don't agree, if they, so long as, if they don't agree, let them separate. It's okay. Even our committee sat and they decided. Even the parliament also decided. Now, these people had Moses as their refer person. If you think it's wrong, Jesus, if you think it's wrong, why did Moses allow? Today, some men will say, if you think it's wrong, why do the parliament say so? Like this. If you think it's wrong, even the, the religious leaders of a certain denomination are saying it's okay. <laughs> no, so we don't care what other people say. If it wasn't so from the beginning, then it is wrong. Can I hear someone saying amen? If it wasn't so from the beginning, it doesn't matter who says what. Whether it's a pope, a bishop, a bishop, apostle so and so, reverend so and so, if he is not the Lord, and if what he's telling us is not the same as what we know from the beginning, then he's wrong, regardless of his status. So Jesus said, Moses allowed you to give them those certificates because of the hardness of your heart. You were wrong. For it was like that from the beginning. That is a modern thing. You have just created it yourself. It wasn't so from the beginning. How did you marry somebody who is seated here? Let me ask you this. How did you get married that man? Let me be bold to ask you. There's no way I can be an apostle when I don't ask you such hard questions. Uh -uh. I can't say I'm an apostle when I don't ask you such hard questions. Uh -huh. How did you get married? Through? Modernity or as it was from the beginning. <clears throat> I 
Chuko tulio ya kulia njibe msaji ansoveti. Nibi ya vuza vuza ni mkwati ya koa. Mpola mpola tunuli ya nejipa kutu. Agulide njide fugeti, tukatewa kwe tukende, tuwa zize kuri review. You see, it depends. Omanichi sinzira. From the beginning it wasn't so, Jesus said. And then he said, now I'm telling you, if you put away your wife, then you have brought a big problem. So my purpose of saying this today was to, to sound it loud that God is against divorce. Yes, you can get some misunderstandings in marriage. But that shouldn't take you into divorce. Amen. Amen. Innocent, you have heard me very well. Don't pay attention to what other people say. Don't pay attention even to what culture say. You know, for eh? us as people from the West, for us as people from the this West, this has nothing to do with Banyankoli. You see, for us, Baganda. This has nothing to do with the Musajja Muganda. You mean from a chigo? From a chigo? From a chigo? You mean from a chigo? For us, we are chigo. From a chigo? We are chigo. This has nothing to do with the chigo. It has nothing to do with the tough chigo. If it wasn't so from the beginning, it is wrong 100%. Madam C, we have so many younger people here saying, You people, you are old fashioned preachers. Even in America, they do it. As if America is heaven. We don't do things just because the Americans do things. Even the Bazungu are doing it. Kakuru you are in South Africa. Even in South Africa, they do that. Let them do it. But we can't do it. Why? Because it wasn't so from the beginning. Amen. Amen. Love your wife. And work hard to support her. Me. And Vincent, Vincent, your father now in law, we've been working very hard to sustain those beautiful girls. So work hard. And some of the things that we are not able to provide. We were not able to provide for sure. And she knows it. But you know what? You are taking her to provide for those things. So you don't need to ask her. Yeah, your fathers, if they wanted, if they loved you very much, they could have provided those things for you. We loved her very much and we were able to provide what we were able to provide. Because we knew that one day a man called Innocent will come and provide for the rest. So he provided for your wife Work hard for your family. Work hard for your family. You, the Bible says you leave your father and mother. 
Bible he to a wife, you become one friend, you begin a family. So we wish you to have a wonderful family, a wonderful, peaceful home, good house, nice car. Now she will tell you stories. You know, when I was growing up, we had no car. We were walking on foot. We were, sometimes we, even a bicycle was not there. Uh, those things, those stories. She will tell you, I know. But innocent, listen to this. She has not come to your home then to repeat the same story. Uh -uh. She's now coming to some another level. Eh? Eh? So we wish you well. Nice family. Nice house. Nice car. Good life. Peace. Church life. Ministry. In Jesus' name. Saint your Apostle Mitala. May God bless you. Let me first this first stand up. Let us pray. Our God and Father, my name of Jesus, we humble down under your feet and we bring this poor before thy, their presence. They are going to say their vows in your name. Seal all their confession by the blood of Jesus. And may your glory manifest in their marriage, my Father. Lord, may take control. We worship you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me request Wenge to move the veil. To confirm that that is Mirembe Keren. Wenge, that is Mirembe Keren. Innocent, you're your Keren. Yes, sir. She's Mirembe Keren. Akirisant, you're your. That is Bwenje uh, Innocent. Bwenje Innocent. Yes, you are. Among the three institutions, the home, the church, and the state, the home, the oldest and most sacred, marriage must be respected as a nucleus and the foundation of the state. In the consummation of the first marriage, the woman that God created, God did not create her from the head of a man. The woman to step over the man. She was neither created from the feet, the man to step over the woman. The woman was created from the rib, near that of a man. Sign of love, sign of protection. The wife must be loved. The wife must be protected. Man should not be forced. A man free get married. And a female get married. A woman free to get married. And free not get married. At this moment, I want to ask Bwenge innocent. If there is a reason, why should not take me to into the matrimony? You are free to say it now. I have no reason. I have no reason. No reason. Let him ask me if there is a reason. Why should not go into the matrimony with uh, Bwenge innocent? You are free to say it now. I have no reason. I have no reason. She has no reason. Let me ask the people around. If there is a person, what's going to sound the reason? Why this person don't go into holy matrimony? You are free to say it now. And I request this couple look behind and see if there is any challenge. Nobody. Keep quiet forever. This is Gwenge's size. And this is Mirembe's size.
kwa agendo kwa kereni nga omkwasa omsaja innocent kwa tukweta kwa mkoja angu Thank you, Muko. You when you're innocent, you're about to take this great responsibility. The woman who chosen is going to become your wife. Eko heya, we're going to clean them up, God. You are people to become her people. You are property to become her property. It's going to become a queen of your home. To manifest of your love and your care towards her. To leave all other women. To find only to Milembe Karen. And your joy to be her joy. To stay with her throughout your life. Are you ready? Wenge innocent. To go with Milembe Karen. As your lawful wedded wife. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I am ready. Yes, we're ready. You, Madam Beckeren, you're about to take this great responsibility. The man of Joseph is going to become your husband. You go here within the kingdom of God. You are property to become his property. You are people to become his people. You are joy to become his joy. And you are smile to be his smile. To stay with him throughout your life. And your voice to become his sweetest music. He is ready to be in your hand. Are you ready, Madam Bekere? The God of the innocent, as your lawful wedded husband. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. It's ready. Excellent token of love, these are the rings. The rings are not the wedding, but a sign of surrender. Let us pray. 
our God and Father, the mighty name of Jesus, we sanctify these rings before you as you put on their fingers, bind them together forever and ever now. May your glory cover their marriage, my Father, and whatever they touch, bless my Father, and may the joy of the Lord cover them, my Father. Living Father, we send you and worship you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. sign of our covenant of marriage from today I take you as my wife whatever I have I give unto you in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit I've married you I put this ring on you, Gwenji Innocent, as a sign of our marriage. With this ring, I wed you to be my husband. And whatever I have, I give unto you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you're my husband. In the power that interests me by the church and by the state, I joined this one to holy matrimony. Others joined their hands. I joined them with the spirit. That nobody has the power to separate them. I therefore, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, have joined them. We are going to pray. You are going to just to stand here. We shall get the word of prayer from Karen inside. I know Bishop Kasaja is going to pray. Bishop Kasaja is going to pray. Then we are going to get the word of prayer from Wenge's side. Then uh, Apostle Mr. will pray for the church uh, on behalf of the church. Let their grandmom pray. Father, we're so grateful for this loving couple. We thank you, Lord God, that you've brought them together this holy matrimony. We bless them now, Lord, in your name, Jesus, that they may be blessed in everything they do, everything they touch, and that their lives might be a glory unto you as they go forth from this place as husband and wife. Bless them, Father, and bless their families, their extended families, that all would become one in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for, for our children who are getting married today. We thank you for everything. We bless them. We pray for them that they have good life. They, they have all gifts from you. They have children. They have uh, everything on this earth which is good for them. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for the, this church. We thank you for the leadership of this church and for the time they took doing counseling to the two, Innocent and Karen. We thank you for today and for the occasion 
and for the time they have taken to love our children and to bless them and to wed them. May you, Lord, bless this church in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, pray. Our God and our Father, my name of Jesus, as redeemed the church, release a blessing upon this couple. May your glory overcome them, my Father. May the blessing of God overtake them, my Father. And be Father, my Lord Jesus, may your glory always go with them whenever they come, my Father. Give them children full of wisdom and understanding that they will see your goodness and your mercy, my Father. And be Father, my name of Jesus, let your come be are coming in, be blessed, and they are going out, be blessed, my Father. And whenever they pass, will be called blessed, my Father. Lord Jesus, we hand them over to you. They will take control over them, my Father. We worship you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you happy to see them? On this day of 28th of July, 2018, 25 minutes past midday. I pronounce this for as married people. This is Minister and Mrs. Boenje. Nobody has a part separate there. They are married people. We are going to have a Thanksgiving. The reason why we give a thanksgiving is to honor God who has done it for them. Never take it, never take it for granted. When you see your daughter gets married, not because it's very beautiful, it is by the grace of God. There are many beautiful ladies that are not married. So when you see them here, you have to worship God and say God sent you. Not to be like the nine lepers, but be like the, the leper who came back to give a sons. And when you see your son here, it's a sign of victory. And it's by the grace of God. So it's not a church, a religious ritual. That you have to get some money in the pocket, then we give. No, you, you give in a heart of thanksgiving and say God sent you. So that's why we give. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, my name of Jesus, may the Lord turn to you. We thank you for caring and innocent. One day they were conceived in their mother's womb. This is how far you brought them. Not by might, not by power. It has been by your whole spirit. So we give you glory and honor because of what we have done for them at first. We give a thanksgiving to worship you and honor you. Bless the hand of the giver. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tendeleza, hallelujah. Tendeleza, yes, solo kuncha kala. Tendeleza, hallelujah. Tendeleza, yes, solo kuncha kala. Tendeleza, hallelujah. Tendeleza, yes, solo kuncha kala. Tendeleza.
the church. We give their certificate. Indicate the legal mail from the church. So this is their certificate. We thank you very much for having come. We the next in Jamfa was between. So let us pray. Our God and Father, the mighty name of Jesus, we hand, we hand you over this couple at the match of this church. May the mighty God protect them, be in charge of their future. Give them peace of mind. And may your blessing overcover them. And always be there for them. Be their counselor. Be their doctor. Be their provider. And be their teacher. In all things, my Father. We give you glory. Put the second occasion before you. Let the joy of the Lord cover that occasion. Bless every individuals here. And protect them as we be going to your homes. In Jesus' name. Amen. So the past will be a marking tune. They will take more photos outside there. And if you are, you are getting out, you get out this, this end.